Hello and welcome back guys. You are gaming with me, Brothgar, and today I've got some more Planet Coaster action for you. Today I'm going to be starting into the career mode here. Absolutely new. I haven't played it yet, but since the game is officially released, we're going to see what it's all about here. So it looks like all I have is Captain Lockjaw's sort of campaign going on right here. It looks like Pirate Battle is going to be my first one. I'm going to start off there and we're going to see how this all goes. Avast me hearties and welcome to Planet Coaster. Shiver those timbers and take charge of this expensive pirate park. Complete ride construction, draw in the crowds and give your guests a swashbuckling good time. Let's start it up. All right, so this apparently is easy. So we can see here, we can see the different things that I have to, uh, objectives I have to complete over there. I have to attract 800 guests. Psh. Shouldn't be a problem. I already got 644. Build two rides? Are you kidding me? If I get up to 900 guests and four rides, that'll get me to meet him hard. It's 1,100 1, and acquire $15,000. All I've got to make is $10,000 more. This looks like a pretty cool little park we're starting off with. Got a nice wooden roller coaster right here at the very entrance. Let's just kind of back out and get a nice view of what everything we have going on here. I like this. This is a neat little place. Where is the park entrance? That's what I want to know. What about the total limits? What is the limits of the park? Okay, there's one wall. There's another one. We can kind of see the outline here. So the entrance, aha, this must be it over here, mateys. There we go, a little bit of an ATM. Oh, uh, yes, there it is. That's the park entrance right over there. All right, neat. Let me get an idea of what I got for stats thus far. Guests think multiple rides have long queue times, open notifications. Basic controls already know all of those. So, the wait time for my roller coaster here, which is the only one, the high seas, uh, apparently it has two minutes. Are you kidding me? That's not too long. That's not long at all. Let's take a ride on the high seas, shall we? Well, I'm gonna switch on over here to the other train. I kind of like this view, just because you get the people in it as well. Not a very big coaster, but it looks like it's a very cool, like, classic-y wooden roller coaster. a couple of little hills and then you go through some really neat scenery oh that's cool i like that the skull with the mist coming out of it yeah that's pretty neat i've been on some roller coasters like that you know a little bit smaller but pretty neat over there at cedar point where i my local sort of amusement park oh this is kind of cool a little cave back here a little fire all right so since i got five six thousand bucks already let's go ahead and sell, uh, build ourselves a ride i can't quite get the roller coaster just yet I think I gotta go over to the management and actually start doing some research on things. All right, so here we go, park management. Look at this, pirate battle. Uh, guest thoughts, this park is great. The queue for the ocean is full. Camp and beef is too busy, so it looks like they can't quite get the food they want. And I just gotta give it more rides because there's just too much, too many people, not enough space for them to line up for everything. Finances, rides and tickets. The summary, cash flow, 1,000 bucks, nice. I gotta do some research, let's see here. Let's research a coaster, total cost, $3,000 to $4,500. And it does take a couple days. All right, so maybe I don't wanna do that just yet because I don't have quite the cash flow for that. Let's get some rides here, let's see what we have. Insanity, uh, higher excitement, wild blue. Kind of a modest ride right there. It doesn't cost too much though, 1,600 bucks. Let's see if I can find a cool spot to put that where it'll make sense. Whoa. All right, give me back my normal controls. I like full control, not not the weird, like, there we go. We'll throw it in right next to this one. It seems like a good place to put it. Entrance to the center. Sure, why not? Angle snap, get rid of that. We want this to line up real nice. There we go. I need an entrance. We'll throw that right on over here. A little bit of an exit as well. Boom! Making it happen. What kind of path are they using here? I want to keep the same theme. It's like stone. We'll just do a little bit of a rapping, rap a doodle, head right back towards the. Oh, oh, we're snapping again. Get rid of that snap. There we go. Got the entrance set up now, just to set the path to the exit. All right, let's test this bad boy out. See what it all does. This thing's kind of cool. We'll give ourselves a little ride camera. I'm not sure what this ride does. I've never seen it before. Looks like it's probably just gonna swing it around. 
Yeah, there they go. <laughs> that seems like a pretty crazy ride. Kind of make you a little bit sick. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, that's pretty cool. That would be a fun ride. Uh, maybe they'll add one of those at Cedar Point. That'd be pretty cool. I know they added the big swing thing that kind of spins around. I enjoy that. All right, let's get an idea of price. This guy right here, uh, the queue for this is too long, but what is the finances for it? I'm charging five and a half bucks to spin around in a little, like, teacup thing. Why is there so many empty seats? Is this queue just not long enough to fill it up? Let's watch, see what happens. You want to make sure the queue is at least long enough to fill your ride. Ugh. Come on, people, walk out. This poor ride isn't going to make any money because it takes people forever to walk around. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Get to the exit now. All right. Let them in. Go. Yeah, look at them. Look at how excited they are now. Let's see. Is this going to fill up my whole queue? Are there stats to see just how many people I have in line? That would be kind of cool. Uh, something's just wrong with this ride for some odd reason. It's either not showing everybody here or it's just not going up to full capacity. Operations, minimum rider load. I don't think I might want to set that to full. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. It might have just been a time limit of how long it took people to get out. All right, so we're gonna stop the test. This thing looks like it's ready to go. Let's open it up. Finances, nine bucks. Oh, that seems like it's all right. Let's add a little bit of scenery to this as well. We'll just steal trees from next door. Press control D to kind of get through some of this stuff. Just to add a little bit of scenery, because if you look here and you look at your overview, the Q scenery is kind of something you want to have a little bit more of. And just uh, you hold Z to kind of rotate some stuff around just so it kind of, you know, looks a little different. Take some of these barrels as well. You know, get the idea. All right, put some barrels. There we go. Just added a little bit of decoration around that ride. So there we go. Not bad. This will hopefully alleviate some of it. Now I still got people lining up in both of these rides, though. Let's see if I fixed my problem over here with 100% Q. Yeah, there we go. I fixed that up. That's what it was. Operations. Full load. There we go. I want to make sure we're filling that up. All right, so I saw a notification that says people were thirsty. Now, let's see here. Where do people go to get food around here? This is the entrance. We'll just kind of follow it along till they find some shops. This is pretty cool. Nice little animatronics. Good layout. Running on through here underneath. This looks like a good frame for some shops if we're going to put any shops anywhere. I think I just blow that out and kind of put some there. We do have food. It looks like another spot might be set up right here if I wanted to go ahead and modify that. All right, let's hit up the shops, hit a drink. Drink a shack, there we go. Just one of the pre built right here. I think this will work out. <laughs> Bring in the cosmic cow here. See if I can get rid of some of this railing though. Kind of in the way. There we go. Many guests are thirsty. Well, now your thirst has been quenched. Ta-da. Notifications, long queue, long queue. Okay, no problem. I think I'm doing a good job managing everything here. Boom! Pirate battle! Nice! You got my first thing done! Um, I didn't build the two rides. I <laughs> that wasn't a ride! A food station is not a ride, but apparently it is a ride. Well, let's keep going here. I think we can finish this one up, no problem. I have the cash now. Let's go ahead and research a coaster. Start some research on the coaster. There we go. 1,000 bucks per month. Let's type it in. 2,000. I want to get some new, new rides here. Check out my current staff, yeah? Janitor, how you doing, buddy? Where you at? Ah, there he is. Let's go ahead and give him a little bit of training here. Under 20 bucks, no problem. And you know what? You've been doing a good job, sir. I'll give you a, an extra $5. And what do we have over here? Carlo Phillips. He's the other janitor. I'm going to go ahead and give him a little bit more training. And a raise for him as well. How about the vendors? That's a little bit of training for you guys. You don't need a raise. Ooh, I can't train until April 15th. What about my mechanic? This is a guy you always want to have happy and have nice good staff training for 290 bucks. No problem. You got to keep your people happy. If they quit on you, then you're in trouble. Let's hire an entertaining though. Captain Lockjaw. There you go, buddy. Go and entertain people. Hire me, mateys. All right, so far we're off to a good start here. I think we're going to add ourselves another intense ride though. It seems like the intense valley right here, a good a good spot for him. It seems like at least a 
as good a spot as any. And an entrance to it, a little bit of a place and exit. All right, another ride. Many guests are still thirsty. Well, I do have the shop open. Come on now. Well, let's take a quick look at the finances. So far, I think this has been a really easy map. I'm starting off pretty easy. Rides and tickets. Ooh, look at this. Making 5,000 bucks a month, no problem. Shops and facilities is also making $500. You can see where you're actually making a lot of things. Cost 400 bucks to run it, but I made $900. Haven't sold anything in Priority Pass or anything like that. Park at entrance tickets, no. Want to make sure I'm getting people in here. It's not giving me what roller coaster is the most profitable, though. Attraction and shops, there we are. So that roller coaster is the one that's really making a lot of money. How much does it cost, actually? 20 bucks! No wonder it's making so much money. Would you pay 20 bucks to go on a roller coaster ride? I don't think you would. Maybe if you got into the park for free, but there's no way that would work in the real world. <laughs> Not at all. All right, so, so there's some pretty cool arrangements that I've seen thus far. I kind of want to copy and pattern out through the, the rest of what I got going on here. Like, I like this rock entrance. Let's just go ahead and copy that. Can I? Uh, it doesn't let me just copy a whole selection right there. That would have been a really nice feature. I add a couple of benches and everything. Start adding some more detail over here since I am adding all these rides. There we go. Place for people to sit down, think about things, rest. You get the idea. Bonk, bonk. There we are. And some trash cans. Because why not? Keep the park nice and clean. Hey, those benches were good ideas. Look at all these people taking a nice seat. They're filling up around here. People have been walking forever trying to find a spot to sit down. All right, let's add some little cargo decoration over here. I think the other thing I want to do is start painting some terrain. Too green. There we go. Yeah, I like that. That's good stuff. Cool. That'll work. This is such a cool ride at night with all its lights. I really do like it. And look at this setup, though. Look at how cool this place is when it's actually at night. Sun setting. You got to admit that this game looks pretty good. Like, real good, in my opinion. All right, you know what? People are still thirsty. I'm going to add some more shops to this. We'll add ourselves another cosmic cow. Let's throw down another shop over here just for aesthetic reasons. <laughs> Everybody needs a place to go to the bathroom too, so let's make sure we have one of those. Watch how busy this place gets. Toilets. <laughs> Alright, now to add a little bit more of the scenery just to kind of fill in. Keep it the pirate theme here. A little bit of a campfire. Some more cargo just to add a little touch of stuff. There we go place a boat down over here, but we're going to rotate it to make it look like something really bad had happened. There we go. Just added a little bit more scenery, a little couple more trees. Just kind of fill in everything right here. Look at how busy it's getting. Look at how many guests I got. I'm almost up to the next level. All right. Come on. Give me some new rides here. Approximately 37 days. All right. Fine. Let's put 5,000 bucks on this thing. We'll get it done. Well, I guess I can't. Got to make sure my people are happy. It looks like they're doing well. Oh, well, you guys need a little bit more train, don't you? There you go. What do you need? A little raise? Ah, a little bump in your wallet. I'm a good manager. What can I say? You know, the one thing about this park is it seems like everything that you, you can build, you're almost like pushed into this area right over here. You can't necessarily expand too much on what's over here without destroying some things, which I guess isn't too bad. You could do that. But they've done such a nice job with it so far, you know. It's kind of a hard thing to get rid of. That was pretty cool. Oh, I didn't realize there were more toilets on the back side of this. Uh, I guess that's good to... Good I finally checked that. All right, so in order to complete medium, all I got to do is build another ride. And I'll have that all taken care of. What about my research? How's that coming? Still 14 days. All right, we'll build some more rides. Why not? Try to bring some people more into this area and circle them around a little bit more. Dun, dun, dun. Teacups. Kind of a boring ride, but you get the idea. You gotta make some stuff happen regardless. There you go. Go in over here. Go out over there. Ha ha! Level two! Completed. Of course, that wasn't too hard. Hey, I got some more research done. What do I got? Reveal it. Ooh, Looney Turns Coaster. All right. Well, we got these rides up and they're, they're all queued up and ready to go. No big deal. Let's see what happens when I go ahead and build myself a coaster. Cause that's what I like to do. I like to build roller coasters here. Custom Looney Turns. Well, that's a pre-built one if you wanted to throw it in there, but pff, who's got time for a pre-built? Oh, 
There we have it. <laughs> it's barely even trying, but I was able to complete this first one all the way up to heart, I guess. The high C is completed, no problem at all. $15,000 in cash like it was nothing. 1,104 guests in park, but I'm not gonna leave it there. We gotta finish ourselves off with one nice roller coaster, shall we? Because you gotta. Boom. We're gonna give itself some height. Try to loop it back on, in on itself a little bit if possible. Doesn't need to be huge. I don't think I've ever built a roller coaster with a budget though. This is the first thing, something new. There we go. We'll go up fairly nice and high right here. Give it a little bit of a drop. We're gonna shorten this up though. And now start to turn it. Go ahead. Some more length on it. There we go. All right, we've got our first hill lined up. Give ourselves a nice little drop here. And why is it trying to spin on me? Don't spin. I got it. Still had a little bit of a turn on it. Ooh, I can throw a nice big sea serpent on it. Maybe make it a little bit bigger so it gets away from everything else. But that would get me down there real close to the entrance area. I don't want it to go that low though. So we'll let it go like that and then I'll throw the sea serpent on it. Yeah! Let's start a quick test just to make sure this works out just fine. I'm gonna do some custom helix there. Loop back through it. There we go, right above it. Try to get into another drop here. Yeah, it looks like it carries a good amount of speed through that. I really like that you can test this stuff out while it's going right in front of you just to see if your idea is gonna work. <laughs> Shorten this up a little bit so it's not so aggressive. We'll bring ourselves into a bit of a inversion here. One more. I'm gonna start rolling out of it. There we go. Making this all nice and custom. I like it. Those are always the best roller coasters. The one that you don't use all the pre-built on. Even though the pre-built models for like roller coasters and everything are really good in this game. This is what I like. Tighten this up a little bit. Don't dip down too far. And then we'll kind of go underneath here and loop back right through itself. <laughs> what happens is when you're actually it's like, the, the track is just a, isn't complete. The roller coaster will kind of fly off, just like the old Roller Coaster Tycoon, a throwback to that, but it doesn't blow up with people on it, I guess. At least from what I've seen yet. Don't want that to be too aggressive here. There we go. Now let's start rotating them the other direction. Drop it into a downward helix to the right, and then increase its intensity just a bit. Now let's see if I can corkscrew this a little bit. I might want to start shortening things up here. Here we go. Get out of that angle a little bit, but go more inverted. Start bringing it back down. Nah, that's a little too low. Uh oh, whatever that was, it didn't sound too good. There we are. Now we're coming out of it straight. It's gonna loop underneath it. No, don't go upside down. Back up towards the station to the left. I got plenty of money. I'm gonna start looping it back down here towards the station. There we go. Pretty neat little roller coaster. I think it's gonna be kind of cool. Look at that. Look at how well it's doing. All right, so I made some tweaks here. Hopefully that'll work out. Let's give this a ride. I think this is just about done. I think I did make the initial lift here a little bit faster. At least I think I did. 10 miles an hour. Yeah, that seems right. into this first hill, which does go 90 degrees, just for a moment, right there. Got that nice serpent roll to the right. That's a cool element, I really do like that one. This should be nice and smooth now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, nice and slow. And pretty smooth. I did build this track quite close to itself, so some of those elements there were really hard to smooth out. Woo! That might be a little bit much. Might reduce the angle there. But let's see how that result was. That should be pretty good. I'm going for seven. Oh, 6.87. Not bad. A nice extreme ride for everybody here. Let me just reduce this and we'll call it good. Let's give this some pirate colors. Track color, what are, what are pirate colors? Brown, blacks, there you go. Reds and browns and stuff like that. Operations, total number of cars. Looks like I could do nice, I could do four of them. Ooh, that'll be real good. Let's see if I can add a station to this thing or not. Hey, there we go. 
Well, we got the roller coaster complete now. I just added a little bit of building here. I think uh, one thing I'm gonna do real quick is just remove this right there for entrance and exit. So you can see there, I just added a little bit of decoration to it. Some wood, some planks, kind of piratey theme. Didn't go too crazy with it, but I think it looked, uh, worked out pretty good. I got a nice entrance there. Let's go ahead and, and make it go. There you go. Jump on in. Have fun. Let's see what kind of money I can get off of this. We'll cook all 20 bucks, man. 20 bucks, Danner. I think that came out pretty good. All right, well, there you have it, guys. My roller coaster is complete, and this completes the very first map that we had here in the campaign mode. It wasn't too hard, but I like the map. I definitely like all of the different sort of styling that they put into it. They put a lot of work into just making this look really, really cool, even if most of what you're building is on the other side of the map. Obviously, if you really wanted to build this map out a lot, which I've kind of done, I've even made an extra roller coaster just for the sake of it, um, you could definitely do so, and it would be pretty cool. Anyhow, thanks for watching this episode here, this first episode campaign of the Planet Coaster. I look forward to doing a lot more for that. I'm also going to go ahead and upload this roller coaster here if you want to the uh, Steam Workshop so you can download it if you really want to. Again, it's just something that we, we did together, made here. I got to share with you guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day, guys. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out. Okay, here we go. Come on! Yeah! Woo! 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 I totally got him! Come on, baby! Go, 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 go! Do it! Do it! Do it! Oh, yeah! Get some of that! Get some of that! Mmm! That was building a roller coaster on a floating island right there. Pretty cool idea. Fun stuff. I enjoyed it. One million! There we go. <laughs> now we're talking. That's the sound of money if I ever heard it. Woo! Kind of got a weird ring to it. I'm liking it so far. Bye bye <laughs>